Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMindBlocks. So this is just a quick update and notification video for you guys. It's regarding the Ethereum ASIC miner, which uh, has been expected uh, due to come out recently. So in my previous video, I talked about this and there were some rumors and uh, one company kind of confirmed those rumors and we was waiting for an official response. So today we received that. Bitmain has officially uh, responded and released their Ethereum ASIC miner. So let's take a look at their website and we'll have a quick talk about the details and then we'll go on from there and talk about what it means for us um, as miners. So we're on the official Bitmain website. So Bitmain is obviously well known for creating and uh, manufacturing and producing selling ASIC miners. And this is their latest version, which is a Etash ASIC miner. So that means it can not only mine Ethereum, but it also can mine other ETH based uh, algorithms, other coins such as Pearl and Music Coin, Expanse, they're all ETH coins, so they can all be mined with this particular piece of hardware. Uh, I'll come back and talk about the price in just a moment, but let's take a look at some of the specs and some of the other information. Uh, at the moment, we've only got this single picture, so it's like a double decker type design. Pretty much all of the other ones are kind of like a single, a small box. This appears to be a double decker design. Um, as of not really known yet why that is. Maybe it's a slightly different configuration inside or maybe they need more um, balls inside rather than normally just go for a single, um, uh, two, two to three sort of um, balls inside. Maybe, maybe this has got more, maybe the, the form factor is slightly different. Power requirements um, are very similar to the other ASIC miners requiring a ATX power supply with a multiple six pin PCI Express connectors. Let's take a look at the performance of the machine. So like I say, it's for ETH, so that is Ethereum and other common uh, coins that are also mined using that same algorithm. The power consumption is expected to be 800 watts and the hash rate is meant to be expected to be 180 mega hashes. It does say further down that um, when the miners are expected to be delivered and they're expecting higher performance and efficiency than they are at the moment. So that's quite interesting because at the moment, these kind of figures are not that amazing. Um, you could get those uh, figures if you had um, eight GTX um, 1060s or um, also or six 1070s, you get similar sort of performance uh, characteristics. So when I first see these, uh, the power consumption and the hash rate, I wasn't really uh, particularly blown away at first but I'll come on to why that will make such a difference in just a moment. It also says this other information uh, is not shipping to many uh, Chinese regions. I did see in a tweet that it wasn't shipping to uh, China, but then it also includes um, Hong Kong, Macau, and um, Taiwan um, in addition to that. But one of the other important factors to note as well is that the shipping dates is expected to be 16th, between the 16th of July and the end of July. So make a note of that, which is quite a long way off. If you're ordering now, it's going to be quite a while before you get that. And um, a lot could change in the meantime. Um, you know, Ethereum could fork in the meantime, or they could even be, you know, well on the path to proof of stake. I don't think that's as likely, but it's one of the possibilities that could happen. Um, so it'd be interesting to know how many um, ASIC miners have already been shipped and delivered, or how many are going to be coming out very soon. Um, they've probably already done deals with corporate or big corporations or other big miners to get those they they've probably already got their hands on them quite early and we'll you know anyone that buys now will be getting them quite quite late on but i expect they're probably already in the wild at the moment i think that's worth um noting it also says that you're going to need a, a power supply so if you're familiar with the asic miners you'll know that you need a separate power supply for them so that's going to run you an extra um 150 200 dollars i think they are I think one of the big things here, like I said, with that uh, power consumption and the hash rate wasn't particularly impressive. Um, but where it does impress me is the price. So for $800, you're getting that power consumption and that hash rate. And that's really where this comes into this into its own, this mining box. Because um, if you used to build a GPU rig uh, with these characteristics, um, that will cost you um, several thousand dollars. So it's probably about a third of the price uh, when compared to building a GPU miner. Um, also the form factor, we can't really see from the picture, but they're normally quite small form factors. So if you're working in a confined space, it'd be much easier to kind of get these up and running 
rather than GPU mining. You should also have a lot less problems with them in terms of configurations, problems with your risers and stuff like that. So there are obviously all the advantages to ASIC mining. Okay, so with the release of this ASIC miner, what does it mean for us miners and how is it going to affect things? Um, with regards to Ethereum, if Ethereum doesn't change uh, its algorithm um, to specifically present uh, or prevent the, the ASIC mining um, option, or if it doesn't change to proof of stake, which is also um, quite likely, um, it is going to affect the Ethereum mining performance. And Ethereum is one of the coins that I've been mining um, very much for this past year to two years been mining quite extensively with Ethereum and that's mostly because it has been the most profitable coin to mine um, in general. Obviously there has been other ones and they slightly sort of uh, change over time but Ethereum for me has pretty much been the bread and butter of mining uh, for quite some time now. Taking a look at what to mine, the current sort of day rate in terms of profits for a single GTX 1060 and my electricity rate which I've already covered in previous videos. Um, we're getting 34 cents per day, and that's actually up slightly. The Ethereum price is slightly better today, uh, $410. Um, it has been lower these last couple of days. So that's quite good. So even um, for a GPU miner, that's kind of not amazing, but it's kind of okay. It would still take you quite some time to get your money back on a GTX 1060, um, and nowhere near it as high as it has been, but it's not bad for, for its recent sort of performance. Now, assuming these ASIC miners come onto the scene, that would mean for your regular uh, GPU miner, let's assume Ethereum is no longer an option to mine. Then, then you know, what other coins would we mine then onwards? So what we can do is we can untick the ETH algorithm and we'll work with the other algor algorithms. So I think what a lot of people are probably going to go towards is mining um, Zcash coins using the uh, Equihash algorithm and the other sort of equivalent coins and also uh, the new Kryptonite algorithm which is going to be used for mining uh, Monero. So I think they're going to be the other options for you. You can see here the next sort of best option if you don't have any ETH coins is Zencash at the moment. Um, sorry, and there's also this uh, Verge as well. Um, I've, I've not mined Verge, but I have used that algorithm before when mining um, Vertcoin. So from time to time, that can be profitable as well. So some of the other profitabilities, there are um, a couple of cents difference. So there will be other options um, as, as we go on. Um, it's been well um, kind of noted that Monero is very um, ASIC resistant and the um, community behind that is, is very much against ASICs. So Monero is always going to be an option for us to mine. But if we look further down, it's trying to find it now. It is, again, not looking good if you're a GPU miner and you want to mine um, Monero. Um, you know, it is ASIC resistant or it soon, it soon will be. But um, yeah, the profitability there is virtually non-existent. So we're going to need to be quite creative with our mining um, as, as time goes on. And like I said, I do want to do a full video regarding some of the options for it. Unfortunately, I haven't quite got around to that yet, but I've got quite a few different ideas and suggestions of what can make your mining uh, more profitable. So I'll leave it there for, for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and um, hopefully I'll be bringing you guys some good news soon. And uh, till then, I'll see you in the next video.